Okay, we continue with the position and characteristic of the image form. So I'm focusing on the convex lens below. Okay, so for convex lens again. So you can refer to your textbook page 255, sorry, 254. Okay, how to draw. Alright, first thing, you have to draw a principal axis, circle the base. Then we have the lens. Okay, cuba buat garis macam ni. Sebab yang ni kita nak tunjuk kat mana dia refract. Tak mau refract dekat curve. Kat sini, tak sama. Okay, let's say you the focal length is given 10 cm. So, focal length is where the light is converged. Okay, so this is two sides. So, do-do are the focal length. Lah. So, let's say kat sini. 10 cm, 10 cm. So, when you draw, make sure you draw to the Jangan main agak-agak. Nanti cahaya image dapat tak jadi. Okay, so this part of the lens on the left, this part kita kata front. Okay, so this part kita kata back lah, belakang. Okay, let's say image is, uh, sorry, object is greater than F. So, kita letak concentration object is bigger than F. So, somewhere here. Okay, what is U? This is object. U is object distant from where from sini so this is u so kalau dia kat bahagian depan kita anggap belah kiri depan sebab apa sebab kita tulis dari kiri ke kanan kan kita bukan jauhi so kita anggap sini depan lah alright so this is object distant so image akan terhasil kawasan ni kenapa sebab cahaya boleh tembus so the image akan terhasil kawasan ni ada tak kes image terhasil kawasan ni ada juga kalau orang yang kata oh, nampak lama-lama image tu tak nampak dia Kalau kita tak terlalu rapat, kita akan dapat image di sini. Okay, we'll discuss that later. Okay, so this is the rule. Object can be anything. Kenapa saya sebut put arrow here? Sebab kita nak tahu nanti dia terhasil kat sini. Inverted terbalik ke? Tegak. Ha, kalau orang lukis kotak je, tak kita tak tahu kotak kat sini sama je. Kalau lukis dinosaur pun lukis lah dinosaur. Kalau terbalik, make sure kepala dia kat bawah. Okay, so that's the thing. Okay, so we have three rays to form an image. Okay. So you can see from textbook, number one, the rays travel to center of curvature. Center of curvature kat sini. So, kalau dia travel kat sini, dia undeviated. Tak di pesongkan pantul atau bias. Sebab dia apa? Sebab dia lalu kat center of curvature. Tak ada baik darah. Okay, that is ray number one. Ray number two, Okay, ray number two, you go parallel with principal axis, ini principal axis, parallel to principal axis, sampai sini, then refracted through F, kita kata tadi F is the point where light is com converged, cahaya menumpuk, so pergi ke situ. Okay, when you draw, make sure tunjuk arrow, Tunjuk arrow. Tunjuk arrow, tunjuk arrow. Tak ada arrow, tak ada markah. Sebab apa? Sebab kita nak bagi tahu light comes from the object, bukan from the image. Sebab kita tunjuk arrow. Why light comes from the object? Kita nampak satu benda kalau benda tu ada cahaya. You masuk dalam bilik yang sangat-sangat gelap, apa pun you tak nampak. Tiba-tiba ada satu benda yang glow in the dark, so you can see that object only. Sebab apa? Sebab cahaya daripada situ sampai ke mata kita. Bukan daripada mata kita pergi cari cahaya. Mata kita bukan touchlight. Kita buka Iron Man kan. Ha, dia buka bu, nampak scan kan. So, tak nampak? Okay, so cahaya datang dari objek. Okay, so where is the interception? The interception is here. So, this is the image form. Okay, this is the object. So, distance of the image from here juga. Kita guna V. V is image distance, U is object distance. Okay, F is focal line. Kalau length, kita pakai F kecil lah. Okay, yang ini tajuk 6.4 nanti. Macam mana kita nak kira kat mana image terhasil. Okay, so we use the first and second rays. Dah boleh dapat image. Kalau tak boleh dapat, mungkin kita guna kena guna third rays. Okay, sometimes we use first and second. Sometimes we use first and third. Sometimes... 2 and 3rd, 2nd and 3rd. Okay, so ikut kesesuaian awak lah. Okay, satu lagi saya ambil. Let's say, ray number 3. Dia terbalik kepada ray number 2. Ray number 2, you go parallel, you cross F. This one, you cross F dulu. 
then you go parallel ok so kita dapat kat tempat yang sama juga ok so do you need to use these three? no just one just two ok usually kita guna nombor satu dengan nombor tiga eh sorry nombor dua dengan nombor tiga nombor satu kita jarang guna as this one ok this one number one This one number two, this one number three. Usually we use two and three. So again, one more time. Okay, decide your F. F buat betul-betul kat mana? Soalan mungkin kata object greater than F or twice F or equal to F. Tak kisahlah, katalah dia equal to F. Kalau equal to F, you go this one. You get race number two. But race number three, tak boleh buat. Ha, bila race number three tak boleh buat, kita terus pergi race number one. Okay, so you akan dapat kat mana Okay, sama juga Okay, you put somewhere very far F kat sini, dah tak sangat jauh So you go ray number F kat sini lagi satu Ray number 2 Then you go ray number 3 Okay So you get the image here okay. So you suppose to try Page of the image Okay, on page 256 Okay, on page 236, you can see we have certain position for the object. Okay, at infinity, greater than 2F, equal to 2F, in the middle. So, each of that, you must apply ray 1, ray 2, or ray 3. So, you have to practice a lot lah, baru kita tahu yang mana. Okay, so that's about image form. Okay, how about the characteristic? Okay, characteristic ni maksud apa? Ciri-ciri. Image yang terhasil pun insert ke tak insert? Okay, so... Tengok image yang terhasil kat sini You have to write down the characteristics Okay, characteristics means ciri-ciri So, dia ada package tiga Kalau soalan tanya characteristic You kena jawab tiga Jangan bubuh satu, bubuh dua, tak ada markah Dia tiga-tiga tu satu markah Okay, apa tiga-tiga tu? Okay, first of all, you can see the image Either it's upright Tegak atau inverted Tengoklah lukisan kita Ok, number 2 Magnify Or diminish Or might be same size Number 3 Real Or virtual Ok, so dia mesti package Yang mana? Datang 3 sekali Awak jangan jawab Upright magnified Tak betul Bukan tak betul Tak dapat markah Dia kena tiga Upright magnified Betul Contohnya lah Okay how to know Image kalau macam ni From our drawing We know this is inverted Okay Then Real or virtual Okay If you get Since Opposite side Real means Opposite To the object Virtual means Same side With the object Okay So the object is here The image is here So means it's opposite the object So it's real So kita dapat dua lah Inverted and real Okay Again Why? Because this is lens Lens cahaya boleh tembus So cahaya kena tembus So image kena dapat kat sini lah Kalau you dapat image kat sini It's more to mirrors Mirrors cahaya tak boleh tembus Pantul kat sini Okay, tapi kita tak nak belajar tajuk merah lah So, kita belajar pasal Convex lens only Okay, then how to know It's magnified, diminished Or same size Okay, over here we have Simple calculation How to calculate magnification Okay, lama tak pegang pen Besar dan buruk, sorry So, magnification M V over U So, V is the Image distance U is the object distance So you divide lah Ini awak dapat 20cm Ini 10cm Mungkin dapat 2 So If M More than 1 Means Magnify Less than 1 Means diminish Diketokkan Equal to 1 Means Same size Okay So that's for Image Form by convex lens For concave lens It's quite the same You carry on your own Okay You place the object 
kat mana pun dia akan dapat karakteristik image drawing yang sama so sebab tu senang lah okay, so I just focus on the convex lens only ok so if I go too fast please play and play again so boleh you can understand alright thank you